Hi, welcome to the Brown School Library presentation for Admitted Students Week. My name is Lori Siegel and I am the reference librarian. And my name is Emily Cornett. Um, I am a Master of Social Work first year student and a student ambassador um, with the Office of Admissions and Recruitment. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm concentrating in mental health and the criminal legal system. The Brown School Library has an extensive collection to meet the needs of students, faculty, and staff across our public health, social policy, and social work programs. The Brown School Library is happy to help students. We don't expect you to know about libraries or library resources. We really mean that. You don't need to know about libraries. We can help you with library resources, so don't be afraid to ask the library staff for help. We truly want to help you succeed. The library is composed of Susan Fowler, the library director, Lori Siegel, that's me, the reference librarian, and Jonesy Johnson, the library associate. And we have a Brown School Library website. Give me a moment while I switch the screen and you can see the Brown School Library website. Here is the Brown School Library website. We have our hours and location, some information about us, our resources, our services, and tutorial videos. Give me a moment to switch back to the PowerPoint presentation. So what can the Brown School Library do for you? We can provide access to many of your textbooks. We also can provide access to full text journal articles. There is librarian assistance, a reading room for quiet study, and a collection of faculty publications. We have many textbooks on course reserve for short-term short checkout. Many of our textbooks are also available as electronic books. You can see if we have a textbook on course reserve by looking it up in the library catalog. Give me a moment while I switch the screens. For our library catalog, you can click the title box and type in the title for the item that you are looking for. You can also use the drop down and choose title and then type in the title. Give me a moment to return back to our PowerPoint presentation. You can also borrow some textbooks in paper format through the inter interlibrary loan systems. They, they deliver the textbooks in, through campus pickup. So you need to be able to come onto campus in order to use the textbook interlibrary loan system. It is free to borrow books through interlibrary loan. For free full text articles, you can use our databases to access the full text article. If you prefer to search through Google Scholar, you can connect Google Scholar to our full text articles. If you are not sure how to do that, let us know. We are happy to help. If you don't have a needed, if we don't have a needed article, you can request the article through our interlibrary loan system. It is free to request articles through our interlibrary loan system. For librarian assistance, we can help you with course assignments and research. You can self-schedule a one-on-one -on -one or small group Zoom appointment with the library staff. You can also email us for assistance. We also post tutorial videos to help you. All questions are important, so don't be afraid to ask a question. We are happy to help. Give me a moment and I will switch the screen to show you how to self-schedule a Zoom appointment. On our homepage in the About tab, you can see our email addresses if you prefer to email us, and you can also schedule an appointment. Click Schedule an Appointment, choose a date, and then choose a time. Give me a moment to return back to the PowerPoint presentation. We have a reading room with tables and study carols for quiet studying. We also have a collection of books authored or edited by the Brown School faculty. 
You can get to know your faculty through their professional works and also learn about their areas of expertise. And now for Emily's presentation. Okay, so I'll just talk a little bit about my own experiences with library services to give you all a student's perspective. So I've actually been a fully remote student this year, so I've never had the chance to physically visit the Brown School Library, but even as a remote student, I've made use of library resources and found them really helpful. So my first interactions with library services were through presentations that Lori gave to some of my courses. In my foundation research methods course, we wrote group papers that included a literature review. So Lori gave us a very detailed recorded tutorial video that showed us how to navigate the literature search process using the Brown School's search engines and databases. She gave more high level advice on things like what databases are appropriate for which topics, as well as very valuable specific pointers on how to use the best syntax, how to keep the search engine portal from timing out, how to save your searches and export your citations and things like that. I also used Lori's strategy in practice one, um, that's social work practice with individuals, families, and groups in order to complete evidence-based practice assignments, which involve doing research on the background or the most effective interventions for your clients. Um, and evidence-based practice is an approach that comes up really frequently at the Brown School, so having that guidance for search techniques is very useful. And independently of my classes, I've also made use of the library's personalized supports. So this semester, I started working as a research assistant for a professor and started putting together a systematic review about his research question. I was pretty nervous because I had very limited research experience, but my professor was really encouraging and he pointed me to library services. So I set up a one on one consultation with the library director, Susan Fowler, and sent her the work that I had worked on so far. Um, and Susan spent an hour with me developing a really good search strategy for this project. She showed me how to find benchmark articles in the subject area and um, look at which journals they were from, then how to look at the abstracting and indexing for those journals and go from there to figure out which databases and search terms to use and which limitations to apply. And she documented all of this in a literature search tracking form that I've been referring to and adding to throughout my research process. And although I set up this appointment for my research position, students can meet with librarians for academic or other purposes as well. I really recommend these one on one meetings because you can get much better results and save a lot of time when you have that kind of guidance. So hopefully my experiences can serve just as an example of how accessible library services are and give you an idea of how you might use them at the Brown School. Thanks for listening. Thank you for your attention. Good luck at the Brown School. Bye.